the purpose of this tip and trick is to have a look at how the split tool is used within Autodesk Inventor 2010. As you already know, um, a new feature is that we can create multiple bodies uh, solids in 2010. I'm now going to look at splitting a solid to be created two solid bodies. So using that surface as my split tool, I've split this solid. It's going to hide the visibility of the plane I used with the surface. You will now see that I have a split solid. I'm going to just move the top solid up in the Z direction by 10 millimeters. Okay, so you can now see that that solid component is two separate solid bodies. I can undo that because it's not necessary for what I want to, want to show you right now. Um, we're going to look at the properties of the specific solid. You see I can change it, change its color, change its uh, material if I so wished. I'm going to save the part file. You see I now have two different solids. Of solid 2 and solid 3. And what I'm going to look at now is creating components. So I'm actually going to see, it's going to give us a name, I'm going to call it split part assembly. Notice I'm using the standard assembly template. And I'm going to just use a normal bomb structure and I'm going to say next. All right, this brings up my component names, the templates to be used a scale factor etc I can specify any of those say OK and a new assembly is created um, the parts are called solid 2 and 3 because I didn't rename them and they are mated together just using a grounded constraint if you had additional constraints uh, requirements you could unground the parts and reconstrain them as you wish and obviously being separate parts, I can open the part and that's basically all I want to show you.